Hey cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, I got fired from my very first job, so I decided to go on strike. Previously on Mackenzie Turner Roblox, the new iPhone 13 came out and I begged my mom to buy me one, but she said no and told me to get a job. So I got a job at Brooks Burgers with my best friend Sky, and at first it was hard, but finally we got the hang of it. And then the owner of Brooks Burgers, Beth Bates, Bezos came and took away all of our tips, so we decided to go on strike. Look up in the sky! What is it? It's a bird! It's a plane! No, it's Beth Bezos! I've always wanted to do that. How was your trip to space, Mr. Bezos? It was fantastic. I'm gonna open up a warehouse up there. In space? But won't that be expensive? Who cares about expensive? I'm the richest man in the world. Don't you remember? Right. Now, what do we have on the docket today? Well, sir, profits are up, risk is down, and everybody loves you. Fantastic. Well, everybody except Mackenzie Turner. Who is that again? She's the girl who started the worker strike over at Brooks Burgers. Oh, right. The little blonde girl with the high-pitched voice? Precisely. Well, don't worry, my dear Kieran. We will crush her like we have crushed everyone who has ever stood in our way. Excellent, sir. This isn't the first worker strike I've faced, and it certainly won't be the last. Now, Kieran. Yes, sir? Fetch me my swim cap. I want to go bathing in my pool full of money right away sir meanwhile what do we want more tips and when do we want it now what do we want more tips when do we want it now good work everybody the people of this city and beth bezos need to learn that they need workers like us to keep them fed speaking of fed i am so hungry right now can i just slip inside and make a burger for myself no nobody gets brooks burgers until we get what we want. You can, however, have another banana. Ugh, I'm so tired of bananas. We've been protesting for a week straight and all I've eaten are bananas. I'm starting to feel like a monkey. You're starting to look like one too. Hey! Sorry, all of this protesting is making me grumpy. Well, we won't have to protest much longer. After Beth Bezos sees how much money he's losing, he is bound to give in to our demands. Speaking of which, there he is now! Hello, Brooks Burgers employees. It is I, multi-billionaire Beth Bezos. We know who you are. Listen, I know this little protest has been fun, but the truth is I simply can't afford to give you a raise and let you accept tips. Really? Because we all know you just spent billions of dollars funding a rocket ship to take you to space. I know, space travel is like super expensive. I have to make savings somehow. Well, in until you can give us more money, nobody in Brookhaven is getting burgers. Okay, you drive a hard bargain, but I'm willing to give you all a raise. You are? Yes, instead of making $5 an hour, I'm willing to give you $5.10 an hour. But that's only 10 cents more. Should we take it? No, listen, Mr. Moneybags, if you want to make a deal, then let's have a real conversation inside. Fine by me, it's getting too hot out here anyways. Sky, you got your cell phone on you? Yeah. I want you to record this conversation. Ooh, sneaky! Come on, let's go! Five minutes later. You know, you really put me in a tough position. The mayor of this town loves his burgers, and if he doesn't get his burgers, he doesn't do me any favors. That sounds really tough. It is. So, what exactly is it that you want? Well, we would like a 20% raise across the board. Okay. We'd like the ability to have the tip jar right next to the register. All right. And part of the deal. It is for me. Sky, think about the rest of the group. Okay, fine. Just one pony. No, he's not gonna accept that. I'm not gonna accept any of it. What do you mean? You guys will run out of steam. But you are losing tons of money. From this business, but I've got plenty of other businesses in Brookhaven. All filled with stupid workers who don't know they're getting scammed. Look, if I give in to you, I'll have to give in to all the other idiots at the other businesses. Did you get all that? Yep. We were recording.
during this whole conversation. And now it's live on the internet. How dare you? Hey, that's just business. This isn't the last time you've heard of me. Do you really think that was the best idea? I guess we'll find out. One hour later. I should have known these Gen Z Zoomers would be recording our conversation. Kieran, what is the prognosis? Not good, sir. With all of these businesses on strike, we are on pace to lose $1 million every day the strike continues. Dang it! I need that money for my space trip to Venus! Uh, sir, you know that Venus is completely uninhabitable, right? No, with that attitude! So I guess we'll just have to give in to the protesters' demands. Oh, Kieran, my naive little boy, we would never do that. How do you topple an organization? I don't know, sir. From within! Barnabas, come here! This is Barnabas MacArthur's. He's 12 years old, super cool, and totally works for me. What's up? Barnabas here is going to pose as a member of the strike and turn Mackenzie Turner down from within. How delightfully devious, sir. Thank you. Barnabas, please, your work starts tomorrow. No! The next day. All right, does everybody know what we're doing? We are marching on City Hall. And what are our demands? for everyone working in Brookhaven. Yo, what's up? I used to work at the uh, ice cream shop and now I want to strike. Who's the leader here? That would be me. Oh, what a cute leader we have. Stop, you're not so bad yourself. Oh, uh, can we get back to protesting? Yes, absolutely. Everybody follow me. We are heading to the mayor's office and we will force him to listen to us. One hour later. What? chanting that for hours. Okay, I can't just unilaterally make a change to the minimum wage. What I can do is raise a vote with the city council tomorrow to raise the minimum wage. Will that make you happy? Yes! Oh, thank God. Now please, get away from my office. All right, we are one step closer to getting what we want. Who wants a banana to celebrate? <laughs> Barbecue, huh? That is where I will expose Mackenzie Turner. <laughs> Later that same evening. Who wants burgers? Get them while they're hot. Oh, burgers, how I've missed you. Uh, um, can I get everyone's attention, please? What a truly great day. Good burgers, good people, and good progress for Brookhaven. <laughs> Now, I know I'm not the only one who thinks this, but I just wanted to say we couldn't have gone here without the tireless work of Mackenzie Turner. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you, everyone, but I didn't do this for the praise. I did this for the people of Brookhaven. Beautiful and humble. That's our leader. All right, everybody, enjoy your evening. Wow, Barnabas, thank you for those kind words. You know, when you showed up today, I was kind of skeptical. But you seem to be really passionate about the cause. I'm passionate about a lot of things. Do you want to take a walk? I would love that. Moments later. So, Barnabas, 
cannabis. Tell me, why'd you get involved in the protest? Well, you see, my father was a hard worker. He worked in the crystal mines of Brookhaven. He had a terrible boss who never let him get a day off. My whole childhood, my father missed a lot of important dates. Birthdays, baseball games, he even missed the birth of my little brother. Wow, that's awful. Then one day, my father stood up for himself and he left work to watch me perform in a middle school performance of Sweeney Todd. His boss got so upset with him that he forced him to work three days straight without any sleep. That's terrible! On the third day, he was so exhausted he forgot to set a timer on the crystal dynamite, he exploded and died. I'm so sorry, Barnabas! I've cried so much as he left! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, Barnabas. <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> I want my mommy. Please, stop crying. Is there anything I can do to help? I mean, I guess I was just being super vulnerable there. If you shared a vulnerable story with me, that would make me feel better. Um, okay, sure, okay, but you can't tell anyone this. Uh, I went my bed until I was 10 years old. Really? Yup, and I mean, I went to bed a lot. I mean, it got to the point where my mom would just make me sleep on a layer of kitty litter. Like a cat? Yeah, like a cat. Whoa, that is embarrassing. Well, we'll see you later, Mackenzie. Wait, what? Uh, I'm really tired. Talk tomorrow. Hi, Beth. I've got the tea on Mackenzie. The next day. All right, are we all ready for the city hall vote tonight? Uh, I guess. Do you have your diaper on? What? I just don't want you to have an accident when you give your speech. What are you talking about? Oh, God, she hasn't seen it yet, has she? Huh? Seen what? Brace yourself. Did you know that strike organizer Mackenzie Turner wet the bed until she was 10 years old? How can someone who can't control their bladder expect to control how much you get paid? Don't listen to a bedwetter, listen to a billionaire. This message has been approved by Beth Bezos. Oh, Barnabas, I knew that boy was too good to be true. Wait, so this isn't a lie? No, Sky, I'm a bedwetter. Well, at least I was a bedwetter, but why does it matter? I don't know, but it does. Basically, none of our people have shown up today. Mackenzie, I'm sorry, but we might lose the city vote. Not if I have anything to say about it. One hour later. Ladies and gentlemen of City Council, we are here today to vote on a proposed 20% increase to the minimum wage of Brookhaven. To argue against the bill is billionaire Beth Bezos. To argue in favor of the bill, Mackenzie Turner. Beth, you can speak first. Hello, City Council members. Many of you may know me because we go to the same clubs. I funded your election campaign and I have personally done favors for you. Let me just tell you this. Voting yes on this bill would be a real bummer for me. I mean, I like keeping my money and this bill would give me less money. That's total baloney. Plus, the girl proposing this bill is a bedwetter. So, who are you gonna trust? Your old pal Beth or some bedwetter? He's got a point. Bedwetting is gross. Should we just vote right now? Not yet. Ladies and gentlemen, City Council, my name is Mackenzie, and I am a bedwetter. Gross. But I am more than just a bedwetter. I am a person. I am a worker. I am a human being who demands to be treated fairly. And I don't think my nocturnal urination should change that. Do we not all bleed the same blood? Do we not all go to the same bathrooms? You may be friends with Beth Bezos, but he doesn't care about you. All he cares about are his spaceship rides and making money. I'm more like you than he is. So if you want to help yourself, then vote yes on this bill. Because at the end of the day, we are all bedwetters. That was beautiful. I still went to bed. All in favor of raising the minimum wage by 20%. Aye. And thus, the bill passes. Hey, I can't believe we did it. Now I can go back to work? Yup. Oh, you'll rue this day. You'll rue it. The next day. Um, I guess I'll get a cheeseburger. Do you want fries with that? Uh, sure. Well, I guess it's good to be back at work. It sure is. Plus, that extra 20% makes it a lot easier to get through the day. Still, I wish I had gotten my pony. <laughs> 